Good morning from Pop Century Room. I am on my way right now. It's me again, solo. Uh, the girls went ahead a little bit earlier. I wanted to stay behind, take my time again, and just let the crowds die down a little bit at least for the buses and the entrance hopefully hopefully they're not as crazy as right at park opening this is what i'm wearing my little gray mini ears and then my pre mickey pretzel earrings let me see if you can if it'll focus there here are my mickey pretzel earrings and uh yeah so i'm on my way uh oh and i'm wearing just a plain gray i love mickey short uh, shirt and then my squad goals um shorts biker shorts so that is it for now i am on my way to the bus and i'll show you let's see how do you guys think that the buses are going to be super full or not i guess we shall see allegedly according to touring plans it's going to be a number four out of ten for crowds so we'll see how accurate that is let's go so for starters it is a kind of cloudy day but it does feel quite humid as you can see by the camera getting dirty let me see if i can clean it hopefully it's not too dirty oh oh wow it's really really dirty <laughs> i'm gonna clean it right now in a sec but i'm in charge of taking simba my daughter bought this uh popcorn thing she wanted it more as a souvenir she loves uh lion king and she forgot it even though she wanted to take it so she asked me if i could take it for her so i'm doing her the favor even though i can't stand this popcorn bucket it's like it keeps unclipping it has a clip but it keeps on clipping so she made a complete knot out of this but anyways it's so foggy so once i show you the bus stop and i get settled in i can actually show you um clean the lens rather and then show you how crowded or not crowded is hopefully it's not too crowded but you never know with Disney. And honestly, it's a matter of if it's going to be more crowded or not as crowded. But there's always going to be crowds, so I don't want to mislead anybody with that. But this is a beautiful view of the park. Oh, yeah, it's super foggy. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this and then I'll, I'll be back with you guys. So oh, this is the current line for Magic Kingdom. This is not too bad. Could be worse. Magic Kingdom always seems to be the busiest line anyways. Um, but it's not too bad. Let's see if there's a screen of where the next bus. They should have one right here. This is where I believe they should put a screen since this is where the majority of the people are otherwise you have to walk a little bit more back towards the other buses over there to see a screen but okay so uh, we got one of these buses that are like the backup buses i guess not the official the motor coach bus buses anyways i just like coming all the way to the back they're more spacious and it's nice and quiet. Everybody tends to want to sit in the front. And I am not in a hurry, so I'm gonna let everybody go. And then I go at my own pace when I wanna go, but I'm one of us. And this is the last time entering uh, Magic Kingdom for this uh, trip. So, uh, so sad, but so happy at the same time. Here, we're gonna go ahead and get this. Here, I'm gonna reset it for you. Oh, so sad, but so happy that I got to experience it. The beauty here. Ooh, is there a show right now? Welcoming little show. 
when it's not a holiday like to see Disney in its actual real normal state oh and then today on our first day that we were here it was raining so a lot of the atm street atmosphere wasn't here the balloons weren't here and I can see them out right now Let me take a quick picture with that. Another quick tip if you're wanting to take a picture with uh, the PhotoPass photographers right here at the entrance. I do suggest to wait and go closer because usually there's less of a line. Usually. And you're also closer to the castle. So that is my suggestion. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, they had some flooding apparently. So they have this closed off. Also, never a good idea to just stand in the middle. Woo! Woo! Yeah! I love it when they do the square on the floor and they kind of cheer on and stop if you get it off of the of the square. Oh, she's a beauty. We get to see her before we go without all the rain impeding our view and wearing ponchos. It's a very, very crowded day. Even though certain planks did say it was a four, I do think it's a little bit less than the other day. But regardless, it is still crowded. I like taking this little path back here. Uh, because that's the main entrance that through, where you come through Main Street, then the, the castle. This little bridge that goes back over basically to, I believe, Peter Pan, Small World. And I think my daughter has the DAS Pass for Peter Pan, so that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna text them, pull aside, and text them so that they know that I'm here and we can get together. After our, um, I can't remember, I think it was Peter Pan's flight, we also did Mickey's Feel Hard Magic and now we came to Sleepy Hollow to have my spicy chicken waffle because I love it. It comes with chips and a drink and it's time to enjoy.
so we just finished having our Sleepy Hollow lunch slash break. Right now we're gonna go to, where are we gonna go? Seven Dwarfs, right? We're gonna go to Seven Dwarfs and um, the, the lightning lane does not start until one. But by the time we get there, plus we're gonna have like a little restroom break. But that is where we're going. So let's just take a nice leisurely stroll. And I think the uh, touring plans is rather accurate because it doesn't seem as crowded as the other day. The other day we couldn't even get through. What happened? He sneezed. Oh, on the person. Yeah. <clears throat> He's like, hey. You guys want to get started on the door? Castle views, beautiful castle views. Oh my gosh, they're back there. Oh, they're amazing. They're about to start their little uh, dance thingy that they do in the castle. There's Daisy and Duck and Donald Duck. All right, let's go. There's Russell ignoring all the popcorn as he should. All the way up. Thank you. There's Snow White's little house right over there. Such a beautiful area. Hope the image is not too bouncy. I'm using my other camera, my action camera. Because I'm afraid the other one I might just let it go and it'll fly away. So I don't want that. And I'm gonna actually put my glasses away because it's dark out here. We're about to go in. I'm so excited we got the last part of the train.
We just finished doing Seven Dwarfs. Right now, I'm currently sitting right here. I am right across from the entrance of Mine Train. I can see the little spiral thingies. I forget what these, but they're not turrets. <laughs> not what they're called anyways that's where the castle is right over there this is like a nice little ledge to sit and rest and wait and here come russell and my daughter hey. hello how are you good why were you tell her so she'll see <laughs> like if you have a service dog or any other difficulty and they need help with stopping it you can just go ahead and tell the cast members they go upstairs they stop it they can't slow it but they can stop it yeah he thinks it's a moving one come on he remembers it come on let's go Actually stopped. He's okay with going. So that's nice that they're able to do that and accommodate people with different abilities, literally, because no service dog can be perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. 
Thanksgiving tomorrow at the Speedway and Tron Bike Cycle Run. I love a good circuit, and these are two of the best tracks in the cosmos for a bit of light speedy competition. November 2022, this is the progress of Tron.